Sean, the director, um, immediately when he called us about this project, he was like, I want ideas. I want like whatever you guys have, bring it to the table because this is a team effort. This isn't a glitz and glamour movie. This isn't one of those movies that you just do for a paycheck and you move on. Everybody who was a part of this project brought their best and brought something special to the project. Thank you so much for your time. So and of yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you again. Uh, we spoke last year for Casa Grandes. Oh, I spoke to you. Grandes? Yes, I spoke to you and your husband, and you guys were in Hawaii with the kids. We did a little phoner. It was you're fun. still here? <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. I think it was fun, and we loved it. Thank you so much, and we really enjoy Might Oak. I watch with my son, he's oh, nine, oh, and oh, with my God. husband. <laughs> yes, yes, we are really, really happy for to be like to to watch that and and because we do believe in in re reincarnation, like that sometimes you get some some characteristics from someone else. But do you believe it? <laughs> you know, okay, I don't believe in reincarnation, but I do believe that God will put people in your life that you need to either heal or to feel inspired again. Because when we lose somebody that we love or somebody who was influential to us, it's hard and it's heartbreaking. And how do you deal with that? But when you're able to see those characteristics in somebody else, it's beautiful and it brings you hope. And, and it's just almost like this, this sweet little reminder, right? Um, so while I don't believe in reincarnation, I do believe there are beautiful moments that we get to share where we get to remember those people in a really positive way. Yeah, and it, it's beautiful. And you, in this movie, you act, of course, you play Valerie, but you're also a producer, executive producer. <laughs> How did you manage to, to like... <laughs> you know, we've always believed in a team collaboration and Sean, the director, um, immediately when he called us about this project, he was like, I want ideas. I want like whatever you guys have bring it to the table because this is a team effort this isn't a glitz and glamour movie this isn't one of those movies that you just do for a paycheck and you move on everybody who was a part of this project brought their best and brought something special to the project so even the people who were not executive producers or producers on it they were there and they brought something unique and special because this was a labor of love and i really feel like you see that everybody showed up and they were excited to make this movie they were excited to do something different this is such a positive and happy and hopeful film. We haven't had a lot of those lately. So I feel like the timing of all of it, we just knew that we were making something special. Yeah, it's a feel good movie. When you, yeah. uh, we got emotional and then when you, when you, uh, at the end of the movie, I was like, oh my God, that's, that's so inspiring. You know, I, we need to watch that right now. You know, yeah, like I agree. good stories. I, I, you know what? It's just, we need more positivity right now. And, and I feel like that's what this brings. Yeah. And I'm talking about positive. What do you do to keep you an optimist in a situation that we are living right now? Well, I'm really fortunate to have the two most amazing little boys, my little hijos. They're beautiful and wild and kooky. Um, but we've just been at home. You know, I have to say the situation, the, the situation right now that we're in, we're beyond blessed because there are people who have kids who are living in an apartment building who, how do you get out? Like they're literally running up and down the stairs to get the energy out from their children. And that breaks my heart. So like, we're very spoiled out here. We're very blessed. We live on an Island where we can go to the beach. We can go surfing. We can go snorkeling and paddle boarding. So, um, we're very, we're outdoors people. So we've spent a lot of time outside, but I know that that's not the case for, for most people. So we're very, very fortunate. Yeah. It's not our case. We live in a nice small apartment in so LA. You know, you yeah. know, it's hard. It's really hard. And, and you just kind of go stir crazy. It, it's, yeah. um, but are you with your family? Yes, I'm with my son and my husband, but we cook together. We watch okay. movies together. We play, <laughs> okay. we play game boards together. We do pretty much everything. Now they open the pool, like we need to sign up to go to the pool, but we can, we are able to go to the pool right now. And, but we try to, 
do little stuff with him so he can get the energy out. Yeah. But I understand what you mean. <laughs> but right here. Yeah, it's tough. It's so tough. So I don't feel like us being answering that question is really fair because we're in a unique situation all the way out here. Yeah. But that, well, that's good. But coming back to Valerie, what do you like the most about her? I love how much Valerie loves her son, Oak and how she will do anything for him. Um, Valerie's in a unique position. She's battling um, this disease. She is struggling with lupus, but she does not have the funds or the means to be able to um, properly get care for it, which is why we see her going to Mexico to get treatment. Um, but she has this kid who is a prodigy, this kid who is so wise beyond his years, who loves his mom so much. He is her caretaker. Um, and I, what drew me to the role was their dynamic. I thought their dynamic was so beautiful. I'm a mom and I just kept thinking like, oh my gosh, like, this reminds me of my little boy, Ocean. Um, Cause while we filmed the movie, I was pregnant and I just, I was really, I had a lot of sympathy for Valerie. Yeah, no, it's, it's beautiful, the relationship and even the relationship that he creates with the rest of the band. Yes. And it's, it's amazing. And I wanna ask why Janelle P Parish was perfect. She's the right choice to play Gina. Janelle has this awesome spunk about her. I've actually known Janelle for, oh my gosh, like 10 or 12 years now. Janelle is spunky. She's awesome. But outside of just this industry, outside of acting, she's a fan phenomenal actress. Like you watch her throughout the film, the emotion that she brings to each moment, whether they're succeeding or whether they're going through the hardest time, the, what she brings is amazing. But outside of the film, who she is as a human is incredible. There is zero ego. And a lot of times when you show up to set, when you have a number one, the character who's like the lead in the film, there comes a lot of ego and they set the tone on set. So they decide really whether or not you're going to have a good movie or it's going to be a fun experience or a bad experience. And she just sets the best tone. She makes sure everybody feels included. She makes sure that everybody has a voice on set and, and it really felt like summer camp. Each and every person was awesome to work with. We really had a good time. Yeah, we can see that on screen. We can see that you guys became like friends, yeah, uh, a like a big, a big it family. A family. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how it is. Like, you just, these people come into your life and, and uh, honestly, they're all, we're all still on a group chat. <laughs> so everybody will still write each other. It's this one big family. Yeah. And Tommy, oh my God, he's so sweet. He is, and he's so talented. <laughs> he is amazing. And you know what? I, and I've said this in every interview, but it's, it's because it's true. His family is incredible. His parents did such a good job with raising him because most kids with that kind of talent who star in a movie come with a lot of um, ego, come with a lot yeah. of like, like these little pretentious kids. And he had such an innocence and he's so humble and so so kind that I, I'm really looking forward to all the things that he does in the future because he's very special, very, very special. Yeah. No, all the kids, I think, like, they, and they Gianna, are very... And yeah. was, like, it's just an incredible cast. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, it's like, it's, it's a really good movie, and this is everything that we need right now, like, to yeah. watch right now. I, I know? agree. You and, know, I and I, props to um, Sean, our director, Sean McNamara, because he, he really built the team. He found, he handpicked each and every person. He knew like how this group would come together and, and, and work together. And Sean, he uses the word genius all the time. You know that it's a good take because he'll go genius cut. <laughs> so I would say Sean McNamara is a genius. Yeah, I think it's a really good project. And then you see your career because you, you did from Prada to Nada and then you did Spy Kids. And then you came to Casa Grande, which was like a family. And now you got yeah. this one. It's bring the family together, even though yeah. Valerie is a, is a yep. single mom. Yep. But it's, it's kind of, uh, how, how did you pick your project? Did you change? You've been changing? You know, <laughs> you know, you know I think uh, depending on the season that we're in, because we all go through different seasons in our lives where certain things matter more to us at the time that we're in. Um, but right now, our biggest focus has been family. Um, so just finding projects that are positive, 
po uh, projects that promote just um, change and and hope and just things that are lights, like lights in this world. So even characters like Valerie, you know, she's a she's a tough character, and the things that she goes through are really really hard. But the film overall is such a positive and hopeful film. Um, that really, at the end of the day, it comes down to what what message is this project sending? And that's what matters most for me and my husband when we pick projects. Yeah, that's awesome. And where I can find Mike Oak? Mighty Oak, you can find Mighty Oak um, on Apple TV, um, on Vudu, uh, on Amazon. There are a few different places that you can find yeah. it. But, um, and social media will help out as well. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna help, help out to put the word out of there, <laughs> right? And I hope, you know, I hope you and your family be safe, good. I hope everything better for you always. You. I hope and you guys get to that pool soon. Go for a yeah, swim. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Sunshine, amazing. That's for sure. Thank you so much for your time and a lot of success. And say hello to your kids and say hello to your husband. Bye. Well, God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.